guys, what does this hazmat suit, which I made by myself, by the way, what does this hazmat suit have in common with toilet paper and, there's always an and, and a fake gun? Uh, a very interesting video today, guys, because about a year ago, just when the pandemic was just kind of starting all around the world, I made a semi-viral, uh, really fun, cool video uh, with this hazmat suit. I actually built this thing myself and uh, yeah, shot a, shot a video all around Sydney with it. Uh, the cameraman was my cousin Anthony who shot that. I used my iPhone 11 Pro Max literally to film this really cool video. Uh, we did caution. I put I put caution on the on the, what would you call it the sleeves of it and uh, put a uh, <laughs> well I went to the went to the, the hardware shop actually and got myself a see-through vest thingy see-through a mask so uh, you know people that are that are welding or people that are that are grinding something uh, would use this but I used it for my hazmat suit and even put a respirator it didn't really work but it looked cool and uh, I've even got some caution on the back and that was pretty cool can you guys see the caution uh, the biggest problem I had with this suit when I filmed the video was that I couldn't get this I couldn't get the front closed up properly so it just kept opening up on me and we kept running out of uh, out of duct tapes <laughs> but yeah guys uh, my name is Gareth uh, I do daily videos on this channel and weekly videos on my first channel uh, you guys can find me at tallboy Gareth there we go on uh, these social medias Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and don't forget to ring the bell because if you don't, YouTube doesn't exist with me. It just doesn't. They're just, you know, Gareth and YouTube cut ties unless you ring the bell. All right, now <laughs> we got that uh, done. This is what I'm talking about, guys. This is my second channel. This is where you're watching this video on right now. I have my first channel. Now that's where the action was. Uh, <laughs> Uh, man builds hazmat suit for toilet paper giveaway. So just like I said, just in the beginning of uh, when this all started to happen, you know, around about February, March, April 2020, when we were all panicking and we all had anxiety and we, we, we all just couldn't believe that the world was under this threat of a, of a virus, of a pandemic. Like, wow, this is actually happening in a lifetime. Well, now we're all just kind of used to it and it's just another day and it's just another night and another day and another night. And uh, some of us are still locked down, others aren't, but it is what it is. We just gotta live with it. You know, we all just kind of see it as an everyday life situation right now. So hopefully this virus goes soon. Hopefully by the end of 2021, it's gone, but who knows? But yeah, in the beginning stages, I made this video because of this toilet paper. Hardly anybody had toilet paper because you'll see in the video I made, people were going to the grocery shops uh, the grocery stores all around the world and they were buying these things in bulk and you know people were bulk buying I c it's very understandable people were worried that the shops were going to close and in a lot of cases they did close because you know the pandemic was putting the lockdowns on on in place and all that but yeah people were, were mass buying toilet paper and as a result there was no toilet paper uh, left in many different countries and everyone was just shitting themselves wiping their asses with a hand and it was pretty terrible but Hopefully you guys have got toilet paper now, but this is why I made the video because it was, it was just kind of funny. People needed ha uh, people needed toilet paper, and I I wanted to build this hazmat suit as a way to keep safe. Kind of funny, but I was also helping people, so it was it was a double win. And uh, that was that video right there. I also made a couple of other uh, coronavirus content videos. Uh, no toilet paper. Ten ways to wipe your bum. That was a cool video. <laughs> and the office space coronavirus destruction that was based on that movie office space how those office workers are just so pissed off with their job that they end up getting a printer from the office and then smashing the crap out of it uh, so that was really really fun glad we did that that video I made that video with my with my girlfriend vicky uh so this is the hazmat suit and, and i'm going to show you a reaction video to that video right now uh, i'm going to show you through the hard drive instead of through youtube because hey internet connections you can't trust him. And this is live. Do you see? See, it's live. Live on air. So we'll go to my hard drive and we'll play it for you guys right now. I thought I had this 
already set up, but apparently I don't. All right, there we go. We'll type that there. Suit, because we all need to wear a suit every now and then. You know, it just looks good. Uh, okay, here we go, everybody. Today I am officially the Donald Trump. It's your play your Trump card, and it's Donald Trump. Here we go. Might put on eighty-two. Today I am officially declaring a national emergency. You guys remember saying that when it happened? Particularly when you're dealing with a global pandemic. Couldn't believe it at the time. The supermarkets are running out of toilet paper before it even Yes, the they were. Italy has confirmed another 475 deaths. That was terrible. It really was. I used a tripod on my bed and I, I had my legs in between. It's a horrible nightmare about the coronavirus. People are in need. What can I do to help them? I wanted to bring my mum into this video. Toilet paper. Pe pe people need toilet paper. Yes, they did. They do. Mum, that is a great idea. Thank you, Mum. Thank you. Clearly, I need some sort of hazmat suit. Yes. How much do they cost? How much do they cost? A thousand dollars? All right, well, clearly I'm going to make one. And make one I did. I'm trying to find <laughs> stuff I need, guys. This is me and my local uh, hardware yes, shop. This is what I need. Finding a respirator. And a face mask, the thing yes, I just showed you before. Oh. So people doing renovations would use that. I got heated duct tape. Look at this, they've got yellow duct tape. How cool is that? Alright, cool, In cool. the end, I that needed more like duct that. tape. Oh, they've even got hazard. Well guys, we're going to keep safe in this epidemic, pandemic. Yes. We better uh, start making this soon. We better start making right it. I literally found that in my shed. This is mum drawing with a texture around my body. That's my cat Brittany with one eye. She's been really, really cute. And that's me cutting around the uh, the image that mum drew around me. Now I put two of them together. I cut two of those out. And that's my cousin Anthony on the right. He helped film. My mum's on the left with a hand. And this is me trying the suit for the very first time. It was a cozy fit. <laughs> this video turned out pretty good. I'll be linking this down in the, in the description below. It's a must watch. Here we go, guys. Boom. <laughs> that was Museum Station. And this is Circular Key Station now. There was hardly anybody on the train because lockdown was literally like two days away after this film was shot. The people that did see me, they were like shocked and they, they didn't know what to think. It was funny. I brought a huge bag of toilet paper. And these two girls were absolutely wanting one. They wanted more, but I, I could only give them one. They, they really wanted it. I honestly thought the Sydney Opera House security would arrest me for being so close to the opera house with my suit. This is where I should do some artistic creativity with test results, Tallboy Gareth. Open up the test results and reading that I actually have the virus. This is where I get two songs and mash them together. Pick up my fake gun. If you're squeamish, look away now. <laughs> Never give up, everybody. Fight and win. Oh, yeah. Great motivation right there. These people loved me. They wanted to get a photo with me. And that's next to the Sydney tram. These girls were crazy. They wanted so many to uh, toilet rolls. And this is me going underneath the ground uh, to Town Hall, uh, the Woolworth Town Hall. This guy was legitimately homeless, but he was asleep, so he never saw, never saw me put it down. But I definitely left it there for him. Be kind to others and stay safe. Thanks for watching. There we go. There's one thing I would have liked to have added. Uh, it, says, it says here film 22nd of March, but it should have, I should have also added 2020. And me in the end, just throwing up the toilet roll and hitting my head. Wow, guys, that was a really cool video, really cool experience. Obviously, the virus happening all around the world was a terrible thing. Still is pretty much uh, terrible, absolutely terrible, but. Uh, it did happen, and yeah, I made this little video with my man-made hazmat suit. Uh, the time-lapse is, is of me actually making it, and yeah, I found this in my shed, and 
yeah, I put caution all around it. And I think it turned out really good. If you, uh, if you guys like this video, uh, you can find it, the actual video in the description down below or in the comments. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Please ring the bell. Otherwise, you will not know when YouTube, or when I post it to YouTube, always, YouTube just sucks sometimes. I love you, YouTube. Don't, don't delete me. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out, guys.